Hey guys, Sean here from Tesla Family again. I'm back with another bike rack review. I've been using Yakima's high speed fork mount bike rack on top of my Model 3 for two years now to carry my Canyon Lux out to the trail and back. But now I need another rack for my wife's bike and my daughter's bike when I want them to come along with me for a ride. So in this video, I've got another rack for you. I'm gonna be showing you the Yakima front loader wheel on bike rack. A little bit different as opposed to the wheel off fork mount bike rack that I've been using. I'll do an unboxing, mount it up to my Model 3, and we'll do a little comparison between the high speed and the front loader. All right, here we go. Alright guys, so here is the box for the Yakima front loader. Again, it's a rooftop upright bike mount and we are going to be keeping the front wheel on with this bike rack. Holds one bike, fits most roof racks. The other cool thing about the front loader is I can add the SKS lock cores on it and make this bike rack completely lockable to my car and the bike to the rack. All right, taking a look at the other side, bike capacity one, we can add up to two SKS locks from Yakima, 40 pound max weight per bike, and it comes fully assembled, which is awesome. There's premium gear protection with the included cable and it holds tires up to three inches wide. We can see compatibility here with mountain bikes, road bikes, and kids bikes, ranging from 29 inch wheel mountain bikes, 700c 650c road bikes down to 20 inch kids bikes it's got the folding wheel hoop that minimizes drag and wind noise add the sks lock to the integrated cable to secure your bike to the roof rack easy to use spinning handle tightens the wheel down easy to adjust sliding wheel tray fits a wide range of bike lengths and the quick adjust wheel hoop secures a variety of wheel sizes and by the way, if you're interested in learning more about the high-speed wheel-off bike rack that I have already on my Tesla Model 3, check out the link above for that video. All right, so here is the high-speed. It comes already fully assembled. The only thing we have to do is mount it onto my Model 3, and then we'll put it SKS lock core in to make it lockable after that and then just add the bike on top also comes with a full set of instructions here we go let's put it on top of the car uh, before mounting to the car I just wanted to share a couple of the initial specifications here the weight limit is a 30 pound bike and a crossbar spread of 16 to 18 inches uh, or a 40 pound bike with a crossbar spread of 18 to 48 inches And here on the Model 3, I've definitely got more than 18 inches, so we're good for a 40 pound bike. All right, getting a little closer to the rack now that I have it mounted up here, I used this front handle to tighten down the front clamp. You can see it wraps around my Tesla roof rack in the front, and then there's a single bite here in the back, and I just hand tighten this. There's no clicking or anything until it seemed like it wasn't gonna move. So here is where we can add one of the SKS locks. I imagine that once we get the lock in there, we'll be able to slide over it's a locking mechanism that will keep you from turning this front adjuster. We can see the wheel hoops here and then the adjustment sizes from the biggest 29 inch mountain bikes down to 24 inch bikes and 20 inch bikes. Easily you can lift this up here 
and you fold it forward into its position. And you spread these two apart. So I've got this wheel hoop down. Here's the tightener that's gonna be used for tightening down the front hoop onto the front wheel. And then here is your lock cable. Pretty neat. It's tucked up under here. It wraps around the top and then down here to this side of the rack. I haven't quite figured it out yet, but I believe that there's an SKS lock cord that goes on to here too. And you'll... Moving on to the back, here's the back clamp. It tightens down right here, twisting clockwise to tighten and it wraps around my Tesla roof rack. There's a couple different settings here. I dropped it from the highest down to the middle setting, and these are for just the different thicknesses of your roof rack. And then here's that back wheel tray, very similar to my high-speed wheel tray, ratchet tightening. And then it's finished off with a nice uh, Yakima badging on the back. So let's go ahead and mount up a bike. I'm gonna be adding my wife's mountain bike first. So that is a 27.5. We'll loosen these clamps here, slide this down. She has the 27.5 up to three inch wheel. So we will get that up here. Let's see, a 29 would be all the way up. We're gonna bring it down to one position. There's these little indents here that kind of set your vertical position and we're going to lock this down with both sides and I'm going to lift the bike up and first what we want to do is pull this back so we can set the rear wheel on the tray. I like to just tuck this back here. You can sort of do that. I know I can do it on my high speed. Just tuck it into here to kind of keep it from moving. that and let's go ahead and add the bike. All right, so here is the bike in the rack. We need to tighten it down now. I've pulled it all the way forward and it's centered in the hoop. And we're gonna use this ratchet right back here to tighten it down. Turning it clockwise all the way in here. So just hand tightening this here. There is not a ratchet on this like there is on my high speed. So that's an advantage to the high speed. You just crank it till it ratchets and then you know it's tight. This, I think we're just gonna pull down on it. Wait a little bit. Okay, we're pretty tight around the back wheel, the front wheel, the rack's not moving left and right in the front or the back. We're gonna add this ratchet strap on the rear wheel. All right, and there we are. We are ready to go riding. So this side of the Model 3 is the Yakima front loader. You can see it sits quite a bit higher than the high speed. And I'll rotate around and we'll compare this to the high speed from the front. So due to the curved nature of the Model 3's roof rack, we do get a little lean with the bike, but it should be okay. The bike is centered in the rack and tightened down. And here's my Canyon Lux on the high speed. Looks low and lean. That's the way I actually like it. It looks really good on the Model 3 like that. And I definitely prefer it over the front loader, but if you want to save space by not having to put your wheel into your trunk, definitely the front loader is the way to go. And here's the two racks from the back. You see on the high speed, here's the cable. I 
I had some difficulty finding how to access the cable with the bike off. It's much easier with the bike on. You can just pull this off there, slide this out here. This is where your SKS lock core goes. You can put it through your wheel or around your frame, and then it clips in right here with the SKS lock core. Another comparison that I want to make is between the front loader and these clamps here it does take a few i don't know i would say a few minutes maybe a minute or two longer to put the front loader on with this screw type clamp on the front and back i don't really necessarily like these teeth either biting into my tesla roof rack but i guess that's okay because it is made of metal uh, but comparing the front loader to the high speed the high speed has these beautiful rubber rubberized uh, rubber coated straps um, and it's just really, it's really uh, a breeze to put on once you have it set up to your uh, car configuration. All right, now I'm gonna take off my wife's mountain bike. I'm gonna throw on my 700C gravel bike and then also put on my daughter's 20 inch mountain bike. So here we go. There we go, it's a 700C road bike, gravel bike, cross bike frame. Now on to the 20 inch mountain bike. And there we go, 20 inch kids mountain bike. Pretty cool, now me and my daughter can go and enjoy the trails. Let's take a look at those SKS lock cores before we close up the video. And if you'd like to learn a little bit more about the Tesla roof rack, take a look at the video that I have at the link above. I have a Yakima quick release for a front scooter type bike that I use on my high speed, but we're gonna take out this lock core using the blank key that comes with your SKS locks. I have this information in the high speed video, probably a little more detail than I'm showing here, but you insert the blank key to pull the lock out, the lock core out. All right, so I've got it coming out here. Lock core out, and we'll throw it into the Acuma front loader. The process will be the same for both the lock that locks the rack to the car as it is the cable lock, but I'm just gonna show you one. So you take your blank key you pop out this plastic thing here. Don't need that anymore. Recycle that or throw it away. Take your lock key into your blank. And you're gonna insert it with this little stub toward the outside of the lock. I believe that's gonna be the way it works. We'll get that in. All right, now I can take the actual Yakima key for the lock and we'll put it in. And we'll turn the lock into the lock. See how by doing that, we're able to push this little cylinder into the knob and now we're not able to loosen the knob. That's how you lock the front loader onto your car. Same process again for the cable lock. So you're gonna wanna buy two SKS locks if you want to fully lock down your bike to your Yakima front loader. Turn it the other way, and these things don't come out once they get put in. Good to go. And you can turn the knob when it's unlocked. So, 
All right, guys, that concludes the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that like button if it's going to be helpful to you. And make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos from Tesla family. I do all sorts of content, uh, especially on my Tesla Solar, very popular Tesla Solar and Powerwall videos. Take a look at that playlist at the link above. Like, subscribe, share. We're on Twitter. We're on Facebook. And if you're interested in buying this bike rack or the high speed, take a look at the link below in my description where I've got an Amazon affiliate link. I'll get a little kickback from your purchase. Just a good way to say thanks for this helpful video. All right, guys. Time to go riding. Catch you later. All right, guys. Thanks for watching the video. If you really enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe to Tesla Family Channel here on YouTube. We really appreciate all of our subscribers and everyone who watches our videos. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you soon. Check out all of our other videos as well. Also, follow us on Twitter at Tesla Family Chan. Use my referral code to buy Tesla solar roof or solar panels. You'll get a reward after system activation.